April! Listen, I was trying to buy this handcrafted mahogany wood model of a B-25 Mitchell Panchito aircraft. Aw, for me? Don't sass me. And I went to this website, and this ad popped up that said, Hey, Ron Swanson, check out this great offer. What's your question? My question is, what the hell? Like, how do they know who you are? Yeah. OK. Um, there are these things called cookies where like if you go to a site and buy something, it'll remember you and then create ads for other stuff you might want to buy. So it learns information about me? Seems like an invasion of privacy. Dude, if you think that's bad, go to Google Earth and type in your address. So we've been called out to this hiking trail because there's some reports that some teenagers are digging bags of dog poop out of the trash and having dog poop fights. I don't believe it. Oh my god, it's real. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go deal with this. I'm leaving. This is a little fun. This is fun. Oh. So while they repaint the lines in the parking lot, we're asking everyone to do street parking. I'm not street parking my Mercedes. Well, everyone is. I'm doing it. Because nobody wants to steal a Saturn. All right, uh, moving on to recycling. <sighs> um, you OK, Ron? Just a little tooth pain. I'm fine. Continue. OK, each department will be getting blue bins. <sighs> Do you need to go to the dentist, Ron? I don't like dentists. Just a second. Hey! No, no. No, 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 but it's always a good idea to demonstrate to your coworkers that you are capable of withstanding a tremendous amount of pain. Plus, it's always fun to see Tom faint. <laughs> okay, here's the situation. Your parents went away on a week's vacation. They left the keys to the brand new Porsche. But they mine. Hmm. Well, of course not. I'll just take you for a little spin and maybe show it off to a couple of friends. I'll just cruise around the neighborhood. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, of course I should. Pay attention, here's the thick of the plot. I pulled up to the corner at the end of my block. That's when I saw this beautiful girly girl walking. I picked up my car phone to perpetrate like I was talking. The sunroof was open, the music was high, and that girl's hand was steadily moving up my thigh. She had opened up three buttons on her shirt so far. I guess that's why I didn't notice that police car. I can't believe it. I made a mistake. My parents are the same, no matter time nor place. So to all you kids all across the land, no need to argue. Parents just don't understand. All right. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> just a little something I know. So what's up? Uh, someone is on fire in Ramsett Park. They need you to get down there right away. Oh, my God. Well, one of the funner things that we do here in Pawnee is the annual Easter egg hunt. Tom hides the eggs, and I have to say he did an exceptional job this year. I've been searching for 25 minutes, and I haven't found a single egg, and I'm an adult. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. Maybe Tom's trying to make this year a challenge, and if so, he's, he's succeeding. I don't think a single egg has been found yet. Let's keep looking. We're going to find one. Welcome to Animal Control. Let me show you around. 
Those are some chairs. That's a cat or a possum. Oh, this is a napkin where I wrote down a cool name for a dog. Bark Obama. <laughs> right. Is that? What's happening here? Oh, yo, yeah, we found this bird outside. We tried to turn it into a work whistle, like in the beginning of the Flintstones. Tougher than it looked, though. We have a massive pest problem in this town, and it's because the animal control department has been a disaster at catching animals. They're great at ingesting and selling marijuana. This place is a miserable suck hole run by two pothead losers. It's completely and utterly mismanaged. Thanks. It does seem to be very poorly run. But we've only been here for two minutes. There may be a method to their madness. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Four. There's four ways to skin a cat. Ready to blow? Ow! Ow! What is this? Coyote trap, dude. Ah, this hurts. Yeah, we got like a huge vermin problem. I mean, we wouldn't be meaning to call somebody about it, but you know, nobody get on the phone. You're the people you would be calling. <laughs> that is so trippy. Ow! You're fired. You're fired. The whole department is fired. Ow, this hurts. This was one of my running feet. Yo, let's go to Jamaica. No, we should go to Jamaica. Oh, is that what you said? Yeah, no. <laughs> is the coast clear? What are you wearing? My sneak around clothes. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Come in. You gotta see this. Tom and I have been seeing each other for a few weeks, and I think I'm ready to say I love you to his apartment. I love you so much. Look at all these blankets. One on the ottoman, one on the chair, one on the couch. Here, feel. Holy oh. hell, that's soft. Oh my god, is that? Yep, a whole shelf of coconut water. I think I'm gonna cry. This is like girl heaven. Did he do all of this just for you? No, he just lives like this. He's deeply in debt, but you know what? Who cares? Because check it out. Cheese plate and Adriatic figs. Leslie, this is always here. I don't know when he has time to make it. Boutique eye cream, unisex cologne, lip exfoliator, chocolate-covered almonds, and a Sudoku book. Just amenities everywhere. I love amenities. I know. Check this out. This is the best part. 80 degrees, night and day. <gasps> Get this one. There's another soft one. <gasps> oh. oh. Good morning. Woo! Swiss Family Rodmanson. That hat is dope. Thanks, Tom. You mind if I rock that bad Larry on my dome? Wear it on my head, try it on the ladies. Be my guest. Hi, I'm Tom, I have a raccoon on my head. Uh, excuse me, my friend over here was digging through your trash and I think we may have a lot in common. I'm Tom, would you like to see a movie sometime? Are you a raccoon? Because you've been running around my hat all day, head all day? Girl, you're more precious than precious. Uh-uh. Nice hat. Want a bone? That's you talking to me. No. How about... Guess I am a hunter. And it's you season. Whoa! That's great! I gotta get back out there. You know what they say. Animal on the head, manimal in the bed. Damn, girl, your hotness killed my raccoon. I have a raccoon hat. I'm an interesting person. Hello! Any luck? No. Didn't work out as well as I thought it would. No. Better luck next time. I tried, just didn't seem Wow, like... I love that hat. Well, thank you, ma'am. Now, after we are given the certificate, who do you think should speak first? I think it should be me and then you, but if you want, it could be you and then me. Or it could go me, you, me. What do you think? How about just you? Thank you, Ron, yes. Tomorrow, the Parks and Rec Department is receiving a commendation at the Indiana State House for bringing the Harvest Festival back. And although it's purely ceremonial, it's a huge deal for me to go to the State House. I couldn't care less about the commendation, but Indianapolis is home to Charles Mulligan's Steakhouse, the best damn steakhouse in the damn state. I have taken a picture of every steak I've ever eaten there. June 2004, porterhouse, medium rare, bearnais sauce. January 2000, they call this one the enforcer. February 96, the steak, ribeye. The whiskey, Lagavulin 16. And the lady next to me, a bitch. Specifically, my ex-wife, Tammy. Okay, this is, this is the first time I ever went there. <laughs> Look at me, just a kid. <laughs>